Hey guys, I take every week today and we're showing you how to get uh, your computer ready for uh, iOS 5, the final, tomorrow. Uh, Apple apparently released iTunes 10.5. I just came across this post on Techno Buffalo. So we will go over to the Apple website right here. Let's load up for a second. There, it's a little bit slow right now. Here we go. So we go over to uh, iTunes. And you can see uh, they got iTunes 10.5 up here. So you're going to go to free download. So uh, once this loads up, uh, it automatically looks like it recognizes your your uh, computer. It's got it right here, Mac OS 10. So it's already it already uh, recognizes this computer, I'm assuming. Uh, if I would load this up on a Windows computer, I would assume it would have Windows automatically there. Just go ahead and download it. Uh, right now, actually, I'm currently running... Right now, I actually am currently running uh, iTunes 10.5 Beta 9. Uh, and this is allows you to like use all the iCloud stuff. I'm running the Gold Master of iOS 5 right now, and this just this uh, bit of iTunes allows you to sync everything, use iCloud, and all that good stuff. Uh, it allows you to change up all your preferences and stuff. Like if I go to uh, store, uh, automatic downloads. Like if I purchase something on my, if I purchase an app on my iPod or whatever you have, uh, it automatically start downloading here, and it's just it's pretty cool. Everything's all synced up. Uh, and apparently now tomorrow they're going to be releasing an update for Mac OS X uh, Lion. Uh, if you guys don't know how to do that, you're just going to go to software update right here and that'll uh, that'll load up. And that's how you will do uh, your software update for Mac. That'll uh, prepare your operating system or I'm not exactly sure what they're going to have you install. Uh, but like photo streaming and stuff like that. Like if you take a photo on your iPod, it, it'll automatically, like right when you load up on your computer, it'll have, uh, it'll be in right there in iPhoto. It'll have that photo you just took. And it just streams everything across your devices. Uh, I'll probably be doing a lot of demonstrations on this and stuff, along with a jailbreak tutorial on iOS 5, the final. And I currently am actually jailbroken on that. However, uh, it's only a tethered jailbreak. And the untethered jailbreak, if you guys didn't see my video, uh, my recent one, the last one I posted yesterday, if you didn't see that, I talked about uh, the untethered jailbreak for iOS 5, the final, which is released tomorrow, like I just said. Uh, and also, if you guys didn't know, the white iPod Touch is also being released tomorrow. Of course, that's before us is Friday. But anyway, so I just want to make sure I get this video out so you guys can go ahead and download the new iTunes for your computer. Uh, make sure you get that all up to date, and that'll be ready. That new that new iTunes will just allow you to be compatible with iOS 5. Because uh, you can also go, if you guys don't know, uh, when they release that tomorrow, you're just going to... Uh, I have to connect my iPod here in one second. Uh, right now it's connected over Wi-Fi. Uh, but you would just no do like a normal update how you normally would. Uh, make sure you got your iPod plug into, com into your computer, and uh, once this plugs in, just give me one second. So uh, it's gonna connect any second now. So you're just gonna click on uh, get check for update right here, and it'll say there's a new update, and it'll most likely say iOS 5 5.0. That is what I have right now, actually, because it is the GM. So you would just go ahead and do that, and download the software. It'll install it, and you're all set to go. Uh, as for the jailbreak, I'm assuming a tether jailbreak, a tether jailbreak for iOS 5 final. Uh, will be uh, most likely available right away, uh, but the untethered will probably be a few days, weeks, I don't know, I really have no idea what's going to go on, but there should be an untethered soon after the release of iOS 5, uh, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, that's it guys, uh, for this video, I just want to update you with this, some, inf some of this information, uh, so you just simply go to the Apple website and go ahead and get that, uh, but that's it, so I just want to update you guys, just let you know there's some updates coming out, make sure you're staying up to date with all the software and everything, and that way you'll be fully compatible with iCloud and, uh, and all this other stuff going on. So that's it, guys. I would just recommend to download iTunes 10.5 for now. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. This is iTech every week. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it down below and subscribe to the top to be notified when I release new videos on your YouTube homepage. And uh, that's it. So see you guys in the next one.